The Uniform Commercial Code's sales article has specific rules that govern when a party to a contract for the sale of goods supposedly agrees to the deal but wants to change a few things. The United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit considered those rules in the 1991 case of StepSaver Data Systems Incorporated versus Weiss Technology. StepSaver Data Systems built computerized office management systems consisting of an IBM computer, remote terminals manufactured by Weiss Technology, and software called Multilink Advanced, sold by the Software Link, or TSL. StepSaver periodically telephoned orders to TSL for copies of Multilink Advanced, which TSL verbally accepted. Then StepSaver sent a purchase order detailing various terms. TSL shipped the order with an invoice reflecting the same terms. None of this documentation mentioned any warranty waivers or disclaimers. But TSL printed what the appeals court called the box top license on the packaging for each copy of Multilink Advanced. The license included purchase terms and disclaimers of implied and express warranties. The license further stated that its terms represented the complete agreement between the buyer and TSL regarding Multilink Advanced. It stated that by opening the package, the customer accepted the terms of the box top license. If the customer chose not to accept those terms, the software could be returned for a full refund. Barry Griebel, StepSaver's president, testified that he'd objected to TSL's box top license because StepSaver wasn't the product's end user. TSL had twice requested that StepSaver sign warranty disclaimers, but StepSaver had refused to do so. Nevertheless, TSL continued to sell copies of Multilink Advanced to StepSaver. StepSaver's customers had serious problems with the system. StepSaver, TSL, and Wise tried to resolve them but couldn't. StepSaver had to stop selling the system after only five months, and several customers sued StepSaver. StepSaver sued Weiss and TSL in federal district court. After trial, the court granted TSL a directed verdict, ruling that the box top license included all the terms of TSL's agreement with StepSaver. Because those terms included waivers of implied and express warranties, StepSaver had no basis to claim breach of warranty. StepSaver appealed to the circuit court.